In southern Peru, the UNESCO World Heritage City of Arequipa holds a culinary treasure. A one-of-a-kind restaurant sits in the Plaza de Armas, the city's historic center. Sancolay, from the heart in the ancient Quechua language, brings some of humanity's earliest food traditions to the modern day. The hallway lined with baskets of potatoes and other ingredients immediately tells you this is no ordinary restaurant. Sankalai's founder, owner, and head chef, Walter Bustamante, has dedicated nearly 30 years to investigating ancient cultures and mastering their cooking techniques. A statue sits in the center of his office. Three sacred Quechua animals, eagle for the sky, turtle for the earth, and jaguar for the underworld. His book, Eye of the Dragon, is a culmination of his research into the cultural roots of the Americas. The indigenous Quechua people have lived all over what's now Peru, Ecuador, and Bolivia for over a thousand years before the Spanish and the Inca. And they still live here, mostly in the Andean highlands. Sancolay is Bustamante's way of bringing Stone Age Quechua ingredients and techniques to Arequipa's residents and tourists. His menus are educational reads by themselves. Bustamante's kitchen is where all the magic happens. Multicolored potatoes, yams, and corn are all native to Peru. No onions are used, the Spanish brought those with them. The same with his herbs and spices, they're all indigenous. There's no black pepper, as that was also brought by the Spanish. Burning local wood, he heats up volcanic stones for searing. Like this local sweet pepper. Quechua ceviche, a UNESCO recognized Peruvian pickled seafood dish, doesn't use citrus, which the Spanish also brought. This swordfish was pickled in maracuya passion fruit pulp. When lunch was served, it was immediately a feast for the eyes and the nose. With three different kinds of potatoes and alpaca loin domesticated in the Andes Mountains at least 5,000 years ago, alpaca is some of the healthiest meat there is. Before we ate, though, Walter asked that we raise our cups and look across the Plaza de Armas, and he said a prayer to Pachamama, the Quechua earth goddess manifested in Volcan Misti, whose bounty gave us all the elements for our meal. While we digested our lunch, he invited us back to the kitchen to watch how he prepared our dessert. Pure cacao was slowly melted, mixed with some brown sugar over a very low flame to make a thick chocolate paste. Chop up some local fresh fruits, spoon over the warm chocolate, and some roasted peanuts, and you have one of the single most delicious desserts that we have ever tasted. So if you're in Arequipa, Peru, go to Sancolay and try some of the best food that Pachamama and Quechua cooks have to offer.